Dr. Benatia, and uh, he will talk about uh, aligners from the setup to the treatment. And he came from Tunisia. Very welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President, for your kind introduction. The title of my presentation is Aligner from Setup to Treatment. First of all, the treatment process. Selecting a case requires the total cooperation of the patient to make him adopt strictly the treatment. Diagnosis and treatment plan are very important to have a good achievement of the treatment. Realization of the setup is the core of the process. We can ask modifications, and after ac acceptation and production, we can start the treatment. Talking about treatment, diagnosis and treatment plan, we have one case, Alexandra, 35 years old, who came to my office and told me, I don't like my smile. We should take into consideration her demand. After realization of the lateral cephalometry, we can see that we have retroposition of upper and the lower incisor. So we suppose that when we are going to correct the wrong axis of the incisor, we will improve the bearing of the lips. We can see on the left photos the smile before treatment, and after correction of the wrong axis, we can say that we improve the smile of this patient. After that, we have to manage the setup by controlling available space, managing the stages to control and courage, and managing the setup in function of the malocclusion. First, controlling available space, we can use IPA or upper distalization or expansion or the three of them. One clinic case, this, case, this uh, man, 40 years old, we can see a lower crowding, an anterior cause bite between upper lateral left incisor and the lower canine, a midline shift between upper and lower incisor. This case was treated with the Anival system, with, which is an Italian brand. We can see the different stations from the beginning of treatment. After a, new, a few stages, we can see the beginning of appearance of the upper lateral left incisor, the beginning of resolving of the lower crowding. After a few months, we can see the complete appearance of the upper lateral left incisor. And at the end of treatment, we have a complete correction of the malocclusion with, with a, a correction of the midline shift and the complete correction of the lower crowding. This case was treated by IPR. We can see the photo before and after treatment, and we can say that we have improved the smile of the patient. After that, we have to manage the stages to control and courage. Treatment with premolar extractions. At the last Congress of DGAO in November 2014, Kenji Ojima showed us the way to treat with extractions by controlling dental axis, by using those two ellipsoid attachments. Above each attachment, a force is applied and a moment is generated. Those two moments are opposite and cancelled. So we can have a bodily movement without tipping. He also suggested to avoid the Boeing effect by moving teeth by using stages. Treatment with extractions requires a high number of aligners, so he suggested to reduce time of treatment by using a device to accelerate treatment. <coughs> a clinic case, we have extraction of the first right premolar, we can see the setup. We have first movement of canine and second premolar. Second, retraction of the incisor. 
and third, mesalization of the molars. By this way, we have controlled the anchorage, and we can say that we have avoided the Boeing effect. We can see the different stages in progress of the canine and the second premolar. Now we have to manage the setup in function of malocclusion. We can follow this classification in the three senses, sagittal, transversal, and vertical. First, the disorders of the anterior-posterior sense. We have to treat class 2 or, or class 3. Treatment of class 2. We have different ways to treat class 2, from maintaining the class 2 as compromise up to orthognatic surgery. Correction of class 2, the maximum limit of distalization is 2 to 3 millimeters, as explained it Tommaso Castroflorio at the last congress of DGAO. It's a sequential distalization. We must choose class 2 elastics, and for the teen cases, we have a 2-3 virtual occlusion jump simulating bones growth. Now, the transversal sand disorder, we have to treat units or multiple cross bites. And when the disorder is too much important, we might use auxiliaries with elastics, mini screws, or in some cases, surgery. Now, the vertical sense disorder, we have to treat deep bite or anterior open bite. First, treatment of the deep bite, correction of deep bite, which is in fact uh, um, an upper extrusion or a lower intrusion or the, the both. In other cases, we have a deep bite in case of hypodivergence. We should consider the initial axis of the tooth. When the initial axis of the incisor is vertical or in retro position, we can correct the deep bite by association of proclination and intrusion. It's a relative intrusion. When the initial axis of the incisor is correct, we will do a pure intrusion without proclination. And in case of hypodivergence, we will choose the extrusion of posterior teeth. We can see photo before. We have a superclusion before treatment and after correction of superclusion. And after doing the superposition in red before and in blue after, we can see that we have a lower relative intrusion of the lower incisor. In this case, the axis of the lower incisor is correct, but the degree of extrusion, of lower extrusion, is more than 2.5 millimeters. So I decided to use auxiliaries with mini screw, elastics, and buttons to improve the intrusion of the lower incisor. We can see the different stages in progress for correction of this, this supraclusion with lower intrusion. Now, the anterior open bites, treatment protocol is used from diagnosis with delta line, the type of movement to set up, anterior extrusion or posterior intrusion or orthognatic surgery. After doing the management of the setup, we have to verify the setup before validation. We can follow this checklist for verification before validation. We have different items to verify before validation, like evaluation of dental displacement limits, position and shape of attachments, IPR, quantity and timing, and very important is the staging timing of dental displacement. In conclusion, we can say that the digital setup 
is the core of the aligned treatment process. But we need a good diagnosis and treatment plan, a good communication with technicians, and a good management will be needed to be able to achieve a good treatment. I want to talk to you about the next Congress of the French Aligners Society at Paris next 4 April 2016. Thank you for your attention.